Hello there, welcome to another video. Today we will be covering the best book summary apps in the market today. And here I don't want to cover every single app that is there. There's dozens of them, but I want to focus on the top three today in my opinion. I've tried all the three of them. One of them I actually use in my daily life. I'm a paid member. I've listened to over 130 titles over the last two years. So here is my unbiased and honest view. Okay. Before we talk about the best book summary apps, let's talk about why do you need a book summary app in the first place? What does a book summary app give you? Right, I mean, here. If you've seen another video, I've gone through this more in detail, but let me do a quick recap. Book summary apps can help you save time. You don't have to read every book. You can get uh, the condensed the condensed version of the book in about 10 to 12 minutes. It can help you digest the key ideas and then you can then decide if you want to invest your time and money on the book or not. It allows you to comprehend the book better. In some cases, the book is long and it has a lot of complex ideas and then this helps you digest it better. And I've personally found it useful when you've read a really complex book, but valuable one. And if you want to retain ideas, then reading the book and then uh, digesting the summary is always helpful in getting that idea stuck in my head. Three, wide variety. When, you, uh, you, when you're used to reading one type of book and if you want to try a lot more, so for example, you might be curious about what's happening with artificial intelligence, blockchain and everything, then you, you cannot you know, go and pick out the right big book for you. So here a book summary app helps you listen to a 10 minute preview of, uh, of each book and then you can decide which book to invest on. And this helps you expand your uh, variety uh, quickly. And fourth one, as we talked about before, is smart decision making. You know which ones are worth your time and money when you listen to it. And then you can choose, there's a lot of hype, for example, there's a lot of hype around a book, I won't name it. I listened to the summary and then I decided not to buy it because it wasn't worth that hype. When I listened to the summary, it wasn't giving me anything that I thought was extraordinary. Okay, moving on. Here, number three, in my view, is Get Abstract. It's a really, really popular uh, book summary app. It, uh, if you know this book, The Art of Thinking Clearly, uh, it's from the uh, author of this book, Rolf de Belli. What I like about uh, Get Abstract is it's got the richest title collection in the market, over 25,000 titles. And true to the nature of its author, it's got the best summary quality of all the apps. When I say the best, it's, let's say, 2% better than the next one, not necessarily, you know, 50%. And what I really love about this app is it's got a free version for the students. So if you are a student, you don't have to look for that. This is the app for you. You get over 1,000 titles for free. And I think that is a brilliant thing. So if you're a student, this video ends here for you. Get abstract. There's a free version, go for it. There's a description in the video. You end the video here. If you're not a student, sorry, keep going. It is expensive. What, what I think would discourage some people from going for Get Abstract is the, is the pricing. If you can afford $25 a month, roughly thereabouts, and the, the price could vary depending on your geography and the currency. If you can afford it, this is the best app for you in the market. This video, if you can offer $25, ends here. There are no better options for you. Okay, if $25 per month is a little expensive, then carry on. My number two choice is Headway app. Headway is a brilliant app. What wins uh, Headway for me is the summary qualities are decent. I wouldn't say they are as good as Get Abstract or the next guy, the guy on the top, or but it's good enough. I've listened to some of uh, the books that I've actually read to compare how Blink... Did I just give that out? How how the number one and number two and number three compare. And I think the summary quality is decent enough. The pricing is fantastic. If you pay annually, it is about six, eight dollars a month. And that's not a lot of money. That's the investment that you make on yourself is is always going to pay you over multiple times over time and and I think it's it's sweetly priced if you go for annual payment if you 
if you go for monthly and you see that in the red, it is touch expensive for what it offers. The title collection isn't as wide as uh, Get Abstract. Get Abstract is 25,000 plus and Headway app is roughly around 1,500. Of course, the, the number of titles keep improving, but it's no way close to the number three Get Abstract or number one. So if if you are very focused on pricing and you and and if you have a list of books that you want to test and if you find all of them on headway yes go for it it's it's cheap if it covers uh, the titles that you are after the summaries are good go number one blinkist in my view this is hands down the best deal you can get in the market why the summaries are 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 of very high quality so as i said Get Abstract is about 100 and Blinkist, in my view, is about 98, 99. It isn't, in some cases, of course, it's slightly better, but it's it's really close that you can't make out the difference. The title collection is wide enough. It's got 5,500 titles and it's constantly improving. They also add more shortcasts, podcasts, and you can always expect more. And I've seen now they've started adding infographics as well. So Blinkist uh, is constantly improving its collection and the value you get from the app. It's hands down the best value for money. The annual pricing is, uh, when you pay annually, is around seven, eight dollars a month, closer to Headway app. Uh, when you pay monthly, it's slightly more expensive, around fifteen dollars. But I commit annually, so I get it cheaper. And it's also one of the investments that I think gives me the most uh, returns. If I can spend 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour every week listening to books, it makes me think. It makes me think about how I can improve on something. It makes me learn. It does a lot. So I, I commit annually. It's cheaper. And that way, for the title collection I get, it gives me the best value for money. What I don't like about Blinkist, it gives you a seven day free trial. So if you are watching this video, there's a link uh, in the description that you can Click and you can start your seven day subscription for free. You can check out different titles and you can see if, you know, maybe you've read a book before, maybe, you know, listen to that audio summary or read it and then see how much Blinkist adds value because that's what you should expect of a book that you didn't read. So if you are happy with the title collection on Blinkist and the summary quality, either audio or text, then Blinkist is hands down the best value for money. Okay, there are my three options. So in summary, Blinkist number one, what goes for Blinkist is uh, summaries, library size, pricing, free trial, and then you get uh, German and Spanish also now uh, with uh, Blinkist. What I do wish it could do better is the title collection, but I mean, again, 5,500 titles is good enough for most people. So if you're there, I think this is good enough. But of course, if you're looking for specific books that you cannot find on Blinkist, then I'm sorry, maybe you should look at probably Get Abstract. Headway, if you want really cheap, and if you find the titles that you're looking for, then Headway is probably a better option for you. If you can afford $25 a month or more, this video ends here. Get Abstract is your choice. Thank you, folks. See you in another video.